Hey Kings of Dragons, Dragon King 551 here, and today we're going to do a similar video as to the Giants one with the New York Jets predicting their win and loss record for this season, their ceiling record, and their floor record. Their ceiling will be their official record for me, their floor record will obviously be how many wins and losses I think that they will get. Obviously the ceiling will be at most, and the floor will be least. So... With that being said, let's get into it. So the first game the Jets are going to play is the Panthers. I think that's a loss. Just because, obviously, you have the rookie, Zach Wilson, and you have a new coach. Even though, yes, they're coaching in preseason. But this is different. This is a first game playing against the actual starters. You're not playing against second-string players, third-string players. Because the first-string players don't play in preseason because they don't want to get injured. So, yes, Sam Darnold's a very good guy. I think it probably will be a touchdown or, or a little more than that. So I think it will be a 10-point deficit on the Jets. They won't be able to overcome that. And I think they'll just lose that game. Now their rival, obviously, the next week is Patriots-Jets. I think they win that one. Now, personally, I think they win that one is because I think that um, without actually having a great quarterback like Tom Brady. Do you start did they start Mac Jones or did they start Cam Newton? I just don't think that they can win that game. Last year it was a very close game, thirty to twenty seven, the Patriots won. So I think then the Jets can get another close game and potentially win as the Patriots dynasty is has been closed out. Um Jets Broncos depending on who's starting Drew not Drew Brees, sorry, Teddy Bridgewater or Drew Locke. Um, I'm going to have to say that's a loss there just because they, um, I just don't see the Jets winning that one. I think the defense with coming back with health and um, stuff, there'll be a healthy defense. I just think that Denver can win that game. Tennessee versus the Jets. I think that's a win. I think Ryan Tannehill is a good quarterback for their team. I think their defense is very strong. But, I don't know, I think the Jets just can find a way to beat them, and I just think Tennessee's um, overrated at times since sometime, since they've been in the playoffs like three times, and they just can't seem to get over the hump. So, I just think they're not a good team. <coughs> now, I think the Jets and Falcons, let's see, the Jets versus the Falcons. I say that is a win. Now, the reason I think then the Jets will be 3-3 three and three by this time is because the Falcons don't have really good weapons anymore. Matt Ryan's kind of losing it, and he's just not a good guy anymore. I think now the Jets and the Patriots, I think they will lose that game. The Patriots will find their groove. They will come back. It'll probably be a close game again, but the Patriots will probably win it. I see the Bengals losing with Joe Burrow. I don't think their defense is good enough, and I really don't think their offense is good enough. They don't have anyone really to protect him. I think the Jets' um, O-line is good enough to protect um, Sam Darnold. Jets' Colts with um, Carson Wentz down, and we don't know when he's coming back with his foot injury. I say they win that one, so that's another win for them. Bills Jets, I say they lose that one with Josh Allen, who's such a good quarterback. I think that will be um, not so close to a game. I think maybe a 14-point lead over them, but we'll see. Two touchdowns, we'll see. Jets Dolphins, I say they lose that one. The Dolphins defense was really good last year. Um, I think Tua will eat his own this year. He will r reach... A higher potential with Jalen Waddle coming in and helping him. I feel there's going to be good chemistry with those guys, and it's just going to get him acclimated properly. Jets Texans. Sean Watson doesn't really have anyone. Um, their defense has basically gone. I mean, they don't even have JJ Watt anymore. So with that being said, Jets will win against the Texans. Eagles and Jets. I say that's a loss. I think the Eagles' defense is very good. I think with Justin Fields and he got the Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith, coming in, 
I think that's going to have good chemistry, and I think Jalen Hurts can definitely bounce back. Since he technically only played one or two games last season, and he didn't really have anything, so this will be a full season. We'll see how well he does. Yes, he runs, but that's when he needs to. I think he has a good arm. Saints and Jets. Again, Saints have a good defense. Jameis Winston, he's never been that great of a quarterback. He's thrown a lot of interceptions. But he has a good old line, and um, his coach knows what's up, and he knows how to coach him. So I think that's a loss. With that being said, we go to the Jets versus the Dolphins. I say they split, so they win this one. They come back. They want the win. They need the win, basically. Jets, Jaguars. You got Trevor Lawrence there. He's gonna. I think he will be a great quarterback in, a, in the next couple of years. I don't think he'd do so well in his rookie year. I mean, yes, maybe they'll win a lot of games, but their defense is okay. Their offense is okay. So I say the Jets win that one, and I don't think it's going to be a close game. Jets, Buccaneers, that has to be a loss. I just think that Tom Brady and his offense, with everyone coming back, the Jets don't really have a good enough team to win that one. And the final game of the season, Jets versus Bills. I say the Jets will split. So they will win against the Bills. They will find a way to win against the Bills. Maybe um, they win that one. And they punch their ticket to a wild card appearance since 2010. Now that... Is probably great. I mean, 2016, they went um, 10 and 6, and they couldn't even get in the playoffs. So we'll see if this even helps. So, with that being said, I say their ceiling record and their season record for me is 9 and 8. I think they will win. Their floor, I say they're 7 and 10 if something doesn't go according to plan with their coach and injury happens or some other whack of thing happens. But I think that the Jets probably will win 9 and 8 games. Now, could they win more? Yes, they can win more. They can they can go ten and seven. They can go eleven and six. Whatever you want to call it, they can win more games. Could they lose more? Yes, they could lose more as well, depending on an injury or something. Could they win more because other teams are injured and they take advantage of those teams' injuries and win the games, and then people are gonna complain? Oh, it wasn't a fair win because the player was injured. No. Injuries are, injuries are a part of the game. Sometimes you get an injury, you got to put the next guy up, and you, you've got to try to win that game. Point is, the Jets can win more games, and they can lose more games depending on what happens through the regular season. As of now, I don't know how good the Jets' defense is. I don't know how good their offense is. I know their O-line has definitely improved with all their Jets' O-line signings, this offseason. Their coach is very good from the Niners. He's a defensive coach, but he knows how to coach the offense as well. So we need to see how they do. As of now, I'm just predicting from a Jets um, fan from last season and seeing how these teams revamp their offense and revamp their team. So I say the Jets will go 9-8. and eight. As I said in my previous video, I think the Giants will go 10-7 and seven is because they build a really strong team around Daniel Jones on offense and defense. So that's why I think they'll go 10-7. and seven. And I've said why they will um, go less than that and go 9-8 and eight potentially. Now I think the Jets may be looking weaker, but that's just because they came off a 2-14 and 14 season. So that's why I picked them kind of low because I don't know... I haven't seen them really play a full season game yet. Once I see them play regular season in week one to week three, and if these changes happen, saying, let's say the Jets actually win against the Panthers, and they win against the Patriots, and th they still lose against the Broncos. Well, that's two more wins now. So, I mean, now they're 11 and six, right? My point is, or one more, I'm sorry, one more win, and um, they're 10 and 7 now. My point is that anything can happen. I haven't seen their them play a full season yet. No one has. 
So don't try to judge me on basically, oh, I think the Jets are going to win more games and stuff. I'm just saying what I think. And at the end of the day, that's how many games I think the Jets will win for now. We'll see when the season comes this September 12th, when their first game is. And yeah, so until next time, guys, don't forget to say ra radical. I'll see you in the next one. Let's see what the Jets do this season. Let's see what the Giants do this season. And yeah, don't forget to stay radical.